New game, new day. Other way around. New day, new game. No matter how you look at it, we have a great one today. We have a follow death node going up against a mad frog. And we're starting down here to the bottom left of the map with our human player in green. While we're having all the way up to the top right in good old purple, mad frog. All right, so the crazy frog in a night uh, in an undead versus human actually here today, and as you can see, we have a bit of a different overlay currently as well for the cast. I'm pretty happy about that. So we are now seeing the uh, numbers of supply and resources for both players and also the heroes, as you will find out later. Pretty happy about that. Thank you a lot to all the guys that made that possible with their open source project. Very very happy about that. It's definitely going to improve the uh, commentating a little bit while we're waiting for Warcraft 3 Reforged to come in. But this game should be quite fun. Death Note, definitely one of the better human players that we have on the uh, European ladder, and he's been doing quite well. And of course, Mad Fork, the Swedish player, the legend from Reign of Chaos, one of the first players to ever move to Korea for a while to practice there, train, and then come back and take names back in the days is now a little bit back to business too. Now I mentioned this in one of the earlier games, but I want to point it out again that he has of course a full-time job, so he's currently streaming on the side. And he's also going into a Dreadlord first. Alright, this is already going to be good no matter what happens here. Dreadlord first, that makes me happy on so many levels I can't even express to exp uh, begin to explain that. But as I said, Matt for currently streaming quite regularly on Twitch, so if you're interested, check his stream out. Uh, go to twitch.tv slash mattqfrog and uh, of course you can also support him there if you want as he has said a few times now on his stream he's thinking about cutting back his working hours on his regular job in order to stream no more if there is enough support to uh, make that a viable option for him aka if he has some subscribers that support him there an Archmage first on the side of Death Note in the game and already in the main base, something that Death Note really likes to do. A scout tower with an arcane tower really helps against harass that you could see from a Death Knight to come in. At this point we don't really have any of it and obviously Death Note is completely oblivious that he's running into a Dreadlord. And Dreadlord first is something that is extremely old school and it highlights again uh, that Madfrog really likes to go a bit away from the norm. He's not really a big fiend player, he loves to play his ghoul and gargoyle style and when possible and the map allows it, that's usually what we're seeing from him. So we have at this point the Archmage and of course with the first few items as well, currently having uh, the Dreadlord moving in and has a Sacrificial Skull too. Now traditionally when you see that, the first thing that comes to mind is immediately expansion. That undead player might actually try to expand early on. And of course Blizzard has changed a few things in the past. The days of old you needed a graveyard for Sacrificial Skull. Right now you don't need that anymore. So it helps a little bit of getting an expansion on the way or even just using a skull for early aggression. But it also helps with your build and setting that up a little bit faster. But having a Dreadlord there is definitely going to spice things up quite a bit. And you can already see with that Acolyte on the move and with no tech started for Madfrog that he is definitely going to go into a fast expansion here and moving in. Sacrificial Skull being used and the Acolyte goes to work right away, putting the Ziggurat in place. So now can go for a quick Spirit Tower after he has the Graveyard, but before that even you can just make sure that you have a Nurubian Tower in place. Dreadlord with the item on level 1 gets the Cloak of Shadows. As you can see in the inventory, he has also sold his Town Portal. Makes a whole lot of sense if you want to invest the early resources into an expansion. But Death Note hasn't sent out a scout yet, so he doesn't really know what's going on here. He himself is making similar moves though. He's already moving in and trying to get an expansion of his own into play. We're having him now with the Claws of Attack plus 6, which in general is already a very good start for him for the ranged attacks. And we're seeing him with a Circlet of Mobility as well. So great setup for him. But by now we're having also Death Note starting to actually attack here a little bit or at least see what's happening. If you haven't seen an undead player for this long, you know something's up and that's exactly what he's checking out right now. At this point though, good Dreadlord comes in, gets the sleep out immediately. Madfrog going into Carrion Swarm and sleep, actually not even going for the aura. But one of the ghouls goes down as he tries to take one of the footmen apart and he's able to get the counter kill at least. That's a bit more experience in the hands of the Dreadlord. But Death Note definitely knows now this is not going to be your everyday game. You go up against the Dreadlord, you go up against the quick expansion. Mad Frog definitely aiming for the long run here. In the main base of course that tech into tier 2 is heavily delayed because of that decision. And that is similar for the human player as well. 
Mad Frog is still on the move and he actually has the setup with the ghouls, gets the sleep on the Archmage. Immediately the self surround attempt to wake the Archmage up and block a bit of a path here, but the AM has to TP out as Mad Frog forces the town portal out of his opponent and makes him retreat back to the base. In the meantime, expansion still not completely up, but he needs the Acolytes now, further delaying the attack, obviously, but Madfolk is starting the attack here. Now, once again, keep in mind, there is no aura for him, no Vampiric aura, instead Carrion Swarm. And a level 1 Carrion Swarm doesn't really do too much for you just yet. It's really one of those tools that is insanely valuable later on when you have it on a higher level against the low HP units. That fits the build perfectly if you're going up against the human player. But at the same time, you're oftentimes struggling to get enough bang for your mana in the early stages. Still not afraid to throw one out here. Has a little bit more left, so he could nearly get a second one. It's a little bit doubtful, but as long as he gets at least a few kills in with those ghouls, that would be worth it. Now keep in mind, one of the things that he's missing is of course the Unholy Aura of the Death Knight, and that's a bit of an issue, because if you don't have that, you are not going to be able to chase your opponent down, and it eliminates a lot of this undead style where you go for hit and run attacks. Talking about hit and run, Archmage now on the move trying to cut off the income. Because Death Note knows that his own base is already running, and it's running well. It has an Arcane Tower too. It's not impenetrable, but it's definitely giving him additional resource, and that's something that Madfolk just doesn't have. So as long as he takes those Acolytes down, it's all good in the hood. Dreadlord now on level 3, and that's a Carrion Swarm on level 2, and all of a sudden we're talking damage. Bam! First one rattling through the ghouls, still trying to take a few of those peasants away, but the attack is still ongoing right over here. But Death Note not paying attention. The surround with the ghouls as the Archmage gets slowed down and he doesn't have a town portal. He doesn't have a town portal and the Archmage actually falls and down here there's additional experience of course on the side of the Dreadlord. Level 4 for him already. Boys, we might talk, we might talk Infernal here later. He just goes in and he dishes out the pain. But the Acolytes have suffered here up at the top. As you can see there's only one additional one. Still a couple of water elementals and footmen are trying to do some work, but the income has been slowed down. Death Note still has that, but of course he's now losing his own peasants as the expansion. Matt for currently sitting at 38 supply against 32. He's a little bit farther ahead than his opponent, but this expansion is still running. The peasants are all dead and dying, but the Archmage is back to business right now. Bought at the tavern and with the remaining footman he's able to force Matt Frog back. And the frog in the main base, still not taking to tier 2. No Necropolis upgrade happening, whereas we're already seeing the human player on the way to keep. So now Mad Fox still trying to get the additional Acolytes out, but it's really a bad situation for him. With him losing the Acolytes, the big question is, do you build more Acolytes? Do you delay your tech even further? Do you tech instead? Like, what's the play here? He also doesn't have any statues, of course, because he doesn't have tier 2. And that means that he doesn't have any mana regeneration to speak of, and he also can't access a second hero. So right now he's just pumping out ghouls, we're still talking about single crypt here. Hasn't even restarted the Acolyte production, and we're having a crypt build at the same time. Crypt, of course, serving multiple purposes here right now. First of all, you have another building that can help you to get rid of your resources, get the gold out, get the production going. But we're also now seeing with the Tomb of Relics that he's planning of just walling off a little bit and make it harder for the human player to have an impact. And talking human player, Death Note again is looking for an attack and a bit of harass as we're seeing now with the Dreadlord skilling the Unholy Aura, oh sorry not the Unholy Aura, <laughs> that would be a dream, the Vampiric Aura on level 4 to force these footmen back. But yeah, the build definitely for Madfrog, you have the sleep on level 1 that allows you to get a uh, surround going if you play your cards right. And there is again the sleep and the surround attempt on the Archmage who still doesn't have a town portal, has nothing, barely gets out at least for now. Madfrog is running out of mana and that's a huge problem as he's still fighting. And he has the ghouls and he's going in again and he gets the surround once more. Death Note loses his hero again and the Dreadlord is nearly on level 5. Un Vampiric Aura is finally in play. We're having the Carrion Swarm. Mana is a bit of an issue. He might eventually be forced to buy a couple of mana pots for himself if he can't get those statues in play. But now we're having four Acolytes mining at the gold mine. Has another one moving in, but still no tech into Tier 2. And of course, if you look down here, the completion is in. Keep is done. Now Tier 2 units are available to the human player, and he has an Alchemist as well. He still doesn't have a bloody Town Portal, though. 
And that is an issue as Madfo comes in again. The surrounds is what he's aiming for. Archmage on the run. Alchemist all of a sudden also have to be a little bit careful here. No more sleeps coming through. If you can, of course, skill in additional sleeps, it just means that the uh, duration is prolonged, the mana costs are reduced, but at this point the Dreadlord is level 5, and that's very likely going to be the uh, Vampiric Aura on level... Uh, on level 1, actually, still, because, of course, Carrion Swarm takes precedent over it. But definitely a bit of a hybrid. You don't need sleep necessarily on a higher level. So now we are talking about a Carrion Swarm on level 3, and that hurts a lot if you get it through. And Madfog has to be a bit careful because, again, he's low on mana, but a level 5 Dreadlord is already indicating that level 6 could happen and Infernals, they hurt. Death Note has 1,600 gold. Madfog has 2,000 right now, but he's, of course, in a spot where he can't just pump out ghouls all day long. It's all that income that came in. Supply-wise, 43 supply for the Undead player and only 38 for his opponent, but a big Carrion Swarm coming through right now as they're moving in again to take that worker line apart. A lot of damage done against the Peasants and one after another is falling, adding more experience to the Dreadlord, who's now nearly on level 5.5. In the main base, a couple of units still waiting here, by the way. Needs to keep them out of the Carrion Swarm range, or they could instantly fall. But you can see that in the main base, we're not even seeing a lot built. Finally, a couple of structure being put in play. But the way this game has, go has been going, both of the players were starved for wood for a long duration of time. And Madfrog right now realizing, I need another crypt. I have so much gold and I can't use it for anything because I'm not on tier 2 yet, but I can at least add the third crypt and start pumping out even more ghouls for this. Get a couple of items, of course, as well. And I'm personally a bit surprised that he didn't get more items, but the Dreadlord is already on its way back to the shop. But of course, we have a similar situation happening also on Death Note's side, as he's trying to get something to be rid of the resources that he has already accumulated, but he needs more tier 2 structures. And there was so much pressure in the game up to this point, that very little has happened in that regard. There is another scroll of regeneration, and it has to be used for those footmen. And it's really tricky for Death Note to break through this. It's a great wall that we have from Madfog. More ziggurats coming in. The Dreadlord, double potion of mana being bought here. And he e uses one immediately, and bam, there's the Carrion Swarm. Takes one down, cancels out the Scroll of Regeneration, tries to take the Water Elemental down too, but Death Note reacts quite nicely with a quick self-kill and is making sure that that's not going to be the case here. 48 supply right now for Mad Fox, still 2,000 gold for him, 1,300 for his opponent, another Carrion Swarm coming in, investing into items because he just doesn't have the tech yet to do anything else. Finally, Halls of the Dead achieved, goes for the Death Knight as the second hero, can now also include more tech, but make his way over to the shop first, buys himself Boots of Speed, and in addition to that, also Staff of Teleportation to get out of harm's way here. But the game is calming down a little bit, and that means that players are not trying to get rid of these resources, trying to get something into play, and Death Note is currently attempting to make this, first and foremost, a keep tech. We don't see any Arcane Sanctum on his place just yet, at least not out here, but over at the expansion, at least one is being built by him. Second hero, of course, super crucial for Madfrog, but just look at the amount of ghouls that is currently moving through here. He has no upgrades for them. He doesn't have ghoul frenzy, he doesn't have attack upgrades, he doesn't have armor upgrades, nothing for them. And at the same time, you look over to do a Death Note, and it's a similar picture, but he's trying to turtle up right now, because it's the only thing they can do. Even a couple of gargoyles being built. Gargoyles are great on this map, because they allow you to creep in very good spots at the left and the right side of the map, but right now, nobody's even thinking about creeping. We've seen massive attacks the entire game. Dreadlord low, but there's the Death Knight finally in the immediate coil, helping it out with 200 additional hit points. The ghouls are coming in, upgrades or no upgrades, it doesn't matter. Carrion Swarm after Carrion Swarm is rattling through the low HP units of the human player, who drops down to 37 supply against the 46 that Madfog has. And Madfrog is now starting to realize, well, it's going to be tricky for me to break through this. I've taken down most of the low HP units already. In his own main base, we're finally seeing a little bit of tech coming through with a Black Citadel. But he's not even investing into a Slaughterhouse at this point. Should definitely do that, but this game has definitely been all over the place. Castle tech. Nearly done. We have a couple of riflemen starting to come in, but he can't feed them mono by mono to his opponent. Instead, we're now having, again, the Carrion Swarm wrecking, and there it is! Dreadlord on level 6, and baby, it's Infernal time. Infernal time for Mad Frog's Dreadlord. Level 3 Archmage, level 1 Alchemist. Tough times currently for Death Note. The human player is attempting to get his army together, and he has the resources for sure. 
up here to the top, the Dreadlord even gets trapped and he has to unsummon, unsummon the Ziggurat to be able to move out of it. Definitely a little bit of an unfortunate play. Could have maybe taken out one of those uh, trees over here, but as it stands, didn't quite go for that play. Instead, we're now having the Death Knight going to the shop again. Still a lot of money for Madfog. I mean, he's sitting at 3,000 gold and is currently doing what we see a lot from undead players. Stay on the no upkeep, don't go into low upkeep, get massive amounts of money and then pump out from two, three, four production buildings once that you're willing to actually commit to a big fight. And that's exactly what he's doing right now. With also him on tier 3, Ghoul Frenzy is immediately an option and is already about to be researched. He's going into Ghoul Frenzy right now, we're still seeing him attacking, and with that level 3 Carrion Swarm and an Infernal, he can go for it right now. And BAM! It's Infernal time! Gets the Infernal through, third hero by now also for the human player. We have now the Paladin chosen on Death Note side, and that's triple hero from uh, the human against the double that we're seeing uh, from uh, Madfog. And Madfog is looking for a potential carry and swarm again, and hits it hard! The Infernal already wrecking that worker line, and then everyone is lined up at the uh, wall, and they're able to get the kill in. Massive amount of ghouls by now for Mad Frog, who has also still not crossed into low upkeep. He's still getting wood out there. He has so many ghouls right now that he can just easily get a ton. He's sitting at 1,200 at this point against the 600 that we're seeing from Death Note. But Death Note still has resources as well, and quite a few of those. That Infernal, by the way, is just not stopping. It's a one-man army, quite literally. Trying to go through now. Nice body block also with the Alchemist, at least able to get this one down. But Infernal, of course, absolutely brutal. And just showcasing how strong a Dreadlord in the late game can be. That Dreadlord with a Carrion Swarm is an absolute beast to go up against, especially if you don't have any spell breakers that yet, uh, yet that just truck that damage off. Here comes another one. Big hit! Nearly taking down the entire worker line here. Huge problem for him. An attempt maybe to even get a couple of experience points here for some of his heroes if he wants to take that out quickly, but he has to deal with this. Another one, and there's the Unholy Aura now for the Death Knight. Death Knight with a Potion of Lesser Invulnerability too, and things are looking a little bit grim for Death Note. But he's by no means out of this just yet. He's suffering here, but the problem is that Mount Madfolk has decided to go into the low upkeep. He's in the low upkeep already. He went to 70 supply nearly instantly with everything that he has in the setup. Is starting upgrades for his units too. Attacking again with the two heroes down to the bottom. And so far, Death Note just hasn't made that play that. He's just now moved into low upkeep on 51, but he needs to have a little bit more if he really wants to get the resources out. Two heroes attacking the base down here, and in the meantime, the entire human army has started to take down what's left of this expansion and go straight for it. Still only a level 3 Archmage, but he's now able to take this one down. The mining in the main base is nearly gone, though, and now we're having with the Staff of Teleportation, Mad Frog moving back. Ghouls streaming in from everywhere. Town Portal in the hands of the Archmage at least. And now Madfog has to try and defend and he's moving in. He has Ghoul Frenzy. He's about to move in with it. And he also has started to get a couple of upgrades for his ghouls. Sitting on an armor upgrade. But here comes the army of Madfog. And the heroes are shortly behind him. 56 supply against 86. High upkeep now for Madfog. TP has to be popped at some point, and there it is. Upgrade at least a level up for the Alchemist as he has level 2. But as the ghouls rush in, Death Note moves out. At the expansion, he needs to get more units in, and he does. Has a couple of priests. He's currently sitting at 52 supply. He still has 400 gold and a bit of wood left too, but he's, of course, in a bit of trouble here as well. More creeping going on. Madfog, of course, now trying to get the Death Knight higher, and he buys more items. Scroll of Healing. Scroll of Protection is being used too. Death Knight on three. Ghouls everywhere. A massive army coming through with 1-1 upgrades, having only an attack upgrade for the Rifleman, but more priests are now coming in. The low heroes are, of course, problem for the human player but he has still has a decent army if he can somehow turtle in a little bit the problem keep being those spells and as mentioned before if you are playing on this map gargoyles are your friend all of a sudden those red drakes on level six become an option and that death knight is going to be a very happy panda because that's a huge amount of experience in his hands and good items potentially too talisman of the wild 
Yeah, against priests with this spell, of course, always a bit of a problem, but at the same time, they're not really high priest numbers on the side of the human player just yet. And Death Note is, of course, realizing, boys, I need more, more experience. I need to level my heroes. And he levels the Paladin. He nearly has the Alchemist um, closing in on three now, too. But he runs straight into the Undead Army, and that is not a good thing to happen if you're this far behind in supply. 90 supply against 63. Scroll of the Beast being used. Madfog doesn't have statues. He doesn't have destroyers. But He's rushing through with those ghouls. The gargoyles are about to be taken down, but now with the scroll of protection in play, the chances of the human player are dwindling here. Infernal comes down, and the carrion swarm is wreaking havoc. In comes the TP once again. Death Note retreating, falling down into the no so into the no upkeep. Level four at this point in time on the Archmage, and he's running out of resources as well. Matt Fox still at 78 supply, trying to move in here. Still the ghouls, the carrion swarm doing so much work, but the infernal stuck in the back as we're seeing somehow Death Note attempting to hold to expansion, and Matt Fox is just going in. Towers or no towers, he doesn't care anymore. He goes straight into the turret range, gets strained here, but trying to fight from the distance using those choke points against the melee army that is barreling down on his expansion. Matt Fogg had to also rebuild this. He doesn't have any big mining right now. There's only the main base left and that's 160 gold. That's not a whole lot. Death Note still has more mining than he does and he knows that too. But his army size is of course absolutely phenomenal. Good items from two. Double potion of lesser invulnerability at this point on the Death Knight. We'll have to give one over to the Dreadlord eventually. But things are going to get tougher for Death Note for sure. If he can get his hero high enough though, then it's a different story. And he might try and break through, get a little bit of creep going, just to get that Alchemist onto level 3. That would be important for him. And maybe hitting that Paladin's next level as well. And he goes to the left side. He's trying to get the Red Drake done. He's trying to go for the Red Drake right now. Down here in the meantime, the Infernal is still doing work. Sent down, couldn't attack the natural, but down here it can do a lot to make sure that there is no creep going on any longer. Item, Potion of Restoration, is getting picked. Level 3 for the Alchemist. The portal is in. Madfog trying to snipe the base and he's just sticking with it. Gets another quick Carrion Storm out and that is level 7 for the Dreadlord. Now with the Carrion Swarm just racking through that back line, another level up. The base gone and immediately an attempted fight by Death Note, but Madfog is moving away from it. He has that Unholy Aura on level 2, and that allows him to have a lot more mobility, especially, of course, with Ghoul Frenzy. Starting to dart around here, his own expansion is running again in the meantime. 52 supply against 60. They're quite, low, uh, quite similar at this point, actually. Madfog still has a lot of resources in wood, but he just doesn't have all that much when it comes to gold. He's struggling at that point, and this is still a chance for the human player to maybe make a difference here, but the castle tech is lost. Level 3 on the side of the paladin. Ghouls are dead and dying everywhere as Madfog tries to rush away. And here's the level 5 for the Death Knight. Death Knight on 5. But of course, still Death Note in a little bit of a pickle here. He doesn't have income anymore. And he doesn't have enough resources to build himself another base either. He's going to be revealed in a minute and 40. And we have another Rifleman about to be taken down. The high level heroes, a huge problem. Dreadlord on 7 is doing so much work here. But of course, now we have the Alchemist on level 3 as well. And that means Acid Bomb on level 2 has the Acid Bomb here, is trying to use it as well to maybe get those ghouls down, but we have now also reinforcements coming in in form of a good old beetle. Gets the beetle in and tries to of course have with the Impale another quick tool with more crowd control against that ground army. Only level 1 for now for the hero, but how does that matter? Because once that we are having not only Carrion Swarm, but also the Impale rattling through that rifle army, you know that you're going to be in trouble. Everything is being thrown against Mad Fro against Mad Frog right now. Down here, a bit of scout going on, even uh, with that earlier Infernal, trying to see if there's maybe another expansion by Death Note, but that's not the case. So Death Note knows he has to take this expansion down. If he can't take the expansion down, it's over. It's absolutely over. This is the last source of income of Madflock. 42, so 44 supply against 57. Acolytes are focused right away, but in the back we're having the Undead Army already starting to make their approach. Currently the Alchemist trying to guard the ranks here, but can he really go through with that? Potion of Restoration is still available. That might be something. Ghouls are starting to fall, but here comes the Impale. Where's the Carrion Swarm? 
Karen Swarm should hit any second. It's not the only thing. The Infernal comes down. The Karen Swarm comes through. And that should be game as we are seeing him fall in supply even more. 31 against 52. And right now, that Dreadlord with the Infernal is racking. Death Note gets revealed. He has nothing left. Finally, statues are also making an appearance in the game. But the ground army of Death Note is just simply too much. The Alchemist already dead. And the rest of the army is running. Karen Swarm once again. And even the upgrades, the level ups on the Archmage can't change anything here. Any more the paladin about to fall he's gonna die and this is gonna be the end gg as mad fog takes the game against a death node and is able to win the map with a massive massive lead in hero levels level 7 dreadlord coming through with the early expansion the sleeps against the archmage the surrounds and kills leading to that massive discrepancy in hero levels and experience and mad frog takes the game